Hi guys, I hope you're good. My name is Thomas Blakemore. I teach travel and sometimes try. This is day four of the daily vlogs. And yeah, we've kept up consistency and it's been really fun to sort of create these episodes. Today, I'm gonna to keep my head down. You probably won't see lots of vlogging type stuff from me today. I'm gonna to really crack on with the classroom today. So the camera isn't going to be a priority. So I'll apologize for that. Before I start cracking on with my classroom, I wanna give you guys a little bit of an update as to, to what I've been up to inside my classroom. You might see some boxes down there. I am humanities coordinator for my junior school. So there's a delivery down there full of bits and pieces that I need to sort as well. So that's an additional job that we've just got to sort of crack on with and distribute. So update as to how I'm doing in terms of jobs. So it's things like draw labels, they're being laminated and cut. Personalized timetable, done. Set up class lists, pretty much done. Parent emails, that's something I can potentially do tomorrow or one of the first weeks once I start to know some of the parents. Set up worry box, if you haven't seen yesterday's episode, I'll, I'll post that as a link up there as well. Class greeting, I can't remember what that one was going to be about. And then book labels. Book labels going to be one of my main priorities today. And I've got around 100, over 100 books to sort of write names and subjects and those sorts of things into the book, so that's gonna take me some time. It's gonna be boring to watch, I think. Other than that, you'll see a range of different things like this on the table. This is going on displays. I'm gonna finally try and get around to cracking on with displays. This area here is it's looking pretty barren. It's the reading area and it, yeah, nothing's really happening. So a range of different things to sort of crack on with today. And I apologize if I'm not as on it with the whole vlogging type thing. The main thing that I want to talk about today is behavior. Well, the phrase is behavior management, but I'm going to talk to you about this. And I'm going to relate it to my experience of working at McDonald's. McDonald's was my first job. You're probably thinking, what? What? It'll make sense once I've explained it. Okay, so apologies for not really getting the chance to talk to you guys as much today. As I said at the start of the video, I knew today was just going to be a crazy busy day in terms of meetings, but also just me trying to get stuff done. So the priority really for me, in terms of whether it's, it's vlogs or teaching, obviously the teaching has to take the main priority. And as a result, I've just needed to sort of get stuff done. So. Fingers crossed tomorrow, guys, I'll be able to show you a little bit of a, a mini tour. I can't say it's going to be a, a full classroom tour because a lot of the things that I want to get set up aren't set up. And that's mainly because if I put something on a display, as I've said in previous videos, then the children aren't really going to recognize it. They're not going to understand what is up in front of them. I've had a little bit of a rearrange around with two sections and I can talk about that tomorrow along with the Q&A. And the Q&A is something I want to talk to you guys about. Today's the last day to ask me any questions that you might want to ask me. So please leave the comments down below and yeah, ask me some questions. The main topic of today's vlog is behavior. And behavior generally is something that I've been quite good with and I've been quite lucky that the first couple of years, one as an NQT and then in year six were quite challenging. So now I've sort of grown from that opportunity and the way that I manage behavior is a lot more, I don't know what the word would be, efficient maybe? So I wanted to talk through the main strategy that I'm going to be using this year. In the background, you'll be able to see the sweet behavior chart. In fact, I'll go and show you that now. Now you'll notice that this year I'm only going to be going with two different areas. These are, we are kind to others in school and we respect our classroom. Obviously when I have my class I'll have the discussion of what sort of things we do to be kind to others in school and talk about individuals who are kind in school and sort of give role models that the children can aspire to be. We respect our classroom, then I'll talk through about you know making sure that we tidy up, making sure that everything's um, put away efficiently, making sure that we tidy up quickly and making sure that we don't like throw things around. All those different bits and pieces are accounted for and when I think that the class are doing those things well then I'll add a tally. However this year I'm going to be trying a couple of different things. MVPs, most valuable person, that's down there so if I see that one person in particular is going 
suppose the phrase would be above and beyond um, in terms of that specific attribute then I'm going to write their names on there and I'll say look this person Billy is fantastic at being kind to others and then try and praise that person so that others can aspire to be like that person. However, that is just the main strategy that I'm using this year. It's just a tip of the sort of behaviour management, leadership, whatever you want to call it, in my classroom. I'd love to do a behaviour management tips video at some point, but I wanted to talk through another strategy, and this is to do with this trophy that you've probably seen in the thumbnail. Once upon a time I worked at McDonald's. McDonald's was my first job and if you've worked at McDonald's you'll know the structuring system. You've got like a burger section, chicken section, you've got drive through counter, fries and you'll have the people in the back. Anyway, the reason why I'm telling you this is there's different sections. Now, I like to visualise and imagine those are my tables. Now, when I worked at McDonald's, if I was good as an individual, then you, know, you might be employee of the month. Relates back to that. If your store does really well, then you all get a reward. If your school does well, everyone gets a reward. Everyone has a positive feeling. But then I had one specific line manager who was exceptionally good. Now, I like to think of myself as a bit of a line manager in the classroom when it comes to children. What he would do is give incentives to specific stations. And the way he would do that is by saying, whoever you know performs the best, that station would get five minutes extra break and he would try and seek opportunities as soon as it was quiet to allow us to have that five minutes extra break so obviously everyone was sort of competing against each other to get that extra five minutes because you know we had shorter breaks in that workplace i'm gonna put this down the reason why it's important is i now need it this is the superstar table trophy now in my class i've got three tables it all works towards that display because I will say to my class, each table needs to do something. What they will then do is start to have discussions. It's fantastic because then you start to see leaderships happening within the classroom where you know you see individuals start to say, come on, we need to be doing X, Y, Z to try and get this. And your tables start to create almost like mini stations, a bit like McDonald's. So then this is the incentive for the tables. And if everyone pulls in the right direction in terms of the behavior, then the tally goes up. But what you find then is that instead of the teacher constantly have to, to sort of I suppose like bop heads and constantly nag, then the children are doing it for you, I suppose, in this taking responsibility for their own behavior and their own behavior for learning. So that's the magic of this trophy and the reason why I use it. I hope that makes sense to you guys. It's been a bit of a different vlog today, guys. I'll be completely honest with you. I've been quite constructive in the classroom and I can't wait to show that with you. As always, if you want to ask questions, put them down in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to like it. If you've loved the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to know when I post next. If you click into my channel, you'll see a range of other teaching and traveling videos that you might want to watch. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow for the final episode.